What's up guys, Shane here from Figure Deck 3D Printing. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this 3D printed sign for my daughter's door. Welcome back guys. So recently my wife and I gave birth to a little girl and her name is Reese. Hence the Reese cup sitting in my hand. Kind of a corny thing. I thought it was pretty funny though and she let me run with it. So we're gonna let it just go. But so where we live right now, a big thing to do is that at the hospital, once your child is born, you hang some type of um, handmade sign on the door with their name, just their first name. And it's kind of a tradition here. I really liked it, but I don't do a whole lot of hand making. I do a lot of 3D printing. So my nephew has a little girl and his, uh, I think he's in first grade now, and he has a little girl named Reese and he calls her my Reese Cup. It kind of stuck with me as well and every since my wife told me the name Reese, I've always thought Reese Cup. So I thought it'd be a fun thing to do for her uh, door sign. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take you into Fusion 360. I'm gonna show you how I designed this. And I say designed very loosely because I did use someone else's model for the actual Reese cup because I couldn't quite get it to work for myself. I couldn't figure out how to do the angles all properly and make it be a nice circle and how to get the cutout in it. Couldn't figure all that out. So basically what I had to do to scale this properly, how to put the name on there and then how to actually do a multi part print. This was printed on the TiVo Tornado. I'm gonna walk you guys through all that right now. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the very quick and easy way to go ahead and add any type of text, really to any model. I'm just using this example because this is what I did. So we're gonna go ahead and roll all the way back, which is nothing. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to do create, and you're gonna go down here to create base feature, which brings us in, and we're gonna have this model. And then here's the model, paste it in. I just grabbed it off of, um, I don't remember where I got this from online. So we have our base model in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish out our, uh, we're gonna convert it into a, uh, from mesh to a brep, and then we're gonna finish, up here was finish uh, the base feature. So now once we have it, we have it in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and, I went ahead and created a sketch because I was trying to outline it and make it myself, um, which ended up not working out too terribly well because I ended up with this. And then I went ahead and did another sketch with her name on it. And I stopped that and I went ahead and extruded out that uh, name there. And I ended up just nicking it because I couldn't get it to look the way I wanted it to. So all that was finished for nothing. So basically I create, brought it in, convert the mesh to prep, finished base feature, and then created a new sketch right on top, on the top layer and created my text. So if I go ahead and go into the sketch and see, I just did my text there. And then I went ahead and rotated, just gave it, I don't know, a little bit of differentness. I didn't wanna be like straight across, uh, make it a little bit unique. And then once that was done, I went ahead and just extruded it out. And I extruded it out, uh, went up one millimeter. So obviously this is a very, very small scale if that's one millimeter. And then just to make things a little bit easier to be seen, I went ahead and just colored it uh, to be like a uh, yellow, you know, the goldish color, what peanut butter would be, and called it a day. So now we're going to take this and put it into Simplify 3D. And to do that, we're just going to go ahead and right click it. We're going to go ahead and do uh, save as STL, hit OK, uh, restore sign, hit save, and it's going to go out. So now we're going to go here and Simplify 3D import desktop restore sign and there it is it's tiny so we're going to do control l hit the bottom and that will make the bottom on the bottom of the build plate it will just be down there uh, let me get myself back in here all right so now we need to make this big actually we're going to change up to the tivo tornado just so we get that square build plate that we want and centered range okay so we're going to go ahead and edit this let's make it let's do 500 that's uh, not big enough. Let's do 1,000. So we're getting somewhere with that. You know, we're getting somewhere. So let's do 1,100. 1,100. There. I think that, that's pretty good now. But that's way too thick. I definitely don't want it to be that thick. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck uniform scaling. And we're going to change the Z down to 600%. 
and that's pretty good. You can make it a little bit thinner if you want, 500%. You know, so that's going to shrink all that down. So you're still keeping the, the same X and Y size, just your Z, you're scaling down. And that's actually looking pretty good. So we're at 24 millimeters tall, and it's 220 by 188 on the X and Y. Now, the, what we're going to have to do is we're doing a two-part print. So you guys have already seen my video how to do that, and it's very easy. We're just going to go to Tools, Variable Setting Wizard, and scroll in here a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and adjust this height to just go over. The problem we need to work for this model is this outer uh, brim is a little bit higher than everything else. So that's going to be 20.15, uh, add location, split process. There we go. So process one. If we do prepare to print and we just do process one, we can see that it is just the bottom. Exit that. We do prepare to print. Let's do just process two. Undo that one. And there is just Reese. Okay, so we need to make a couple quick changes. So we're going to go into process here two. And we're going to go ahead and make the infill the same. We're going to do no bottom layers. Uh, we want it to be two shells. Uh, top is four is fine. Uh, the additions, we're going to turn that off because that gets rid of the skirt that was on the outside. So now it's just there. And as you can see, we get on the first layer. It's going straight to infill. We don't need any bottom layers on this. And then we're going to go ahead and process one, make sure these match up. So we're doing two perimeters. Uh, we want top and bottom because we need to make sure that fills all that in properly. Uh, additions, we want that to stay on. But the where, where it does change is right here. It tells you to stop printing at 20.15. So we do pair to print. We just go here. As you see, that's all filled in. We have to do top layers on this one just because of um, we're not filling the rest of this big part in with the gold color. It's not going to be that way. So you're going to go ahead and save these out as process one, process two. And then once it ends up the first one, uh, your heaters will stay on, things like that. You're just going to go ahead and swap out your filament. And then you can go in and uh, do process two and print that right on top. One they didn't forget to mention is you are going to edit, have to edit some of your scripts. So uh, your ending script on process one, you're going to just tell it to go ahead and home X and Y, and you're going to turn all the rest of this off. You want your motors to stay enabled, and you want uh, everything to stay heated, so that way it's easier to change your filament. Then you go to process two, you're going to go into your G code, or your, I'm sorry, your, your scripts, and you're going to have it uh, only, you can do G28 uh, X0, y0 and that way it'll just home x and y not z anything uh, you can go ahead and get rid of all this priming and the wipe and then it's just going to go ahead and start printing you're going to make sure you're going to want to manually force the filament out of the nozzle so that it's primed and that way when it gets there it will start printing right away you will need to keep tweezers nearby so that you can pluck off any of the filament wisps that are there before it starts printing that gives you a nice clean uh, start to your print uh, and that's how I made this sign in, you know, using Fusion to add text to it and then how I set it up in my slicer. So there it is. And I mean, it's actually very, very simple. And so I used, I ordered in some AO Robotics Brown PLA, which printed fantastic. It's a great color, I think. And I already had some of the AO Robotics Silk uh, Pearl PLA. They sent me a whole line of them and this was actually their gold and I thought it looked a great pairing to it. The one thing I did wish that I had was the Prusa Mark III with the MMU because I also wanted to put the inlay in here of the gold filament as well and kind of do like a dual part print that way. That would be too, uh, actually I think that's impossible to do with only a single extruder with a single going in. I'd have to have a Y going in there somehow with the dual filaments. So it was just more than I wanted to do. So I might actually reprint this one day for her room just to have a sign for her and actually put that in there purely for my own enjoyment of seeing the peanut butter inside of the Reese cup. I mean, why not? So again, this was a super duper fun print. I didn't know exactly where I wanted to hang it like from, like where I wanted it to be. We chose on this positioning here, how it hung on the door at a slight angle there. So I just drilled a hole and then it wasn't big enough. So I just popped it onto the, uh, the knob that was on the door where you hang things from and it worked out okay. For how far that went in, you can't tell here, but I, you can kind of see through very easy because it's only four top layers and you can kind of see through when you put up to the light, you can see through it. You can't when it's on, like, on a door or a wall or something like that. So it's not a huge deal. 
But again, this was just like super fun print. Dual color is super easy to do in Simplify 3D. I'm sure there's ways to do it in Cure. I think it's called like Change at Z or something like that. It's one of the plugins you can pull in and just set your height to whatever the object is. I have a whole video on this in Simplify 3D. So if you want to check that out, make sure you click up there and see how I did that for doing multicolored uh, prints. Yeah, I think it was like four or five, it was five or six different colors in the one example that I used in that video, uh, just two colors in another one. So again, it's very easy to do. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. I hope that last bit wasn't a little too long, but I kind of want to explain a little bit more about it. Again, this was a super fun print. I'm glad she let me do it. Again, I know it's corny, but hey, uh, dad jokes for life, right? So that's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. I hope you learned something from this. And if you guys did, make sure you become a subscriber. Because you know what? All the subscriptions really do help and it lets me know how many people like watching the videos. Hit that bell icon down there and that way you guys can get an email notification or push notification on your mobile devices when I upload new content. If you guys want to financially help me do more on the show, if you want to catch my after show, click the link below me. That's going to be Patreon. Donate me a dollar more there, get access to my Patreon feed and the after show. And every dollar there really does help me do new projects and buy new things for the channel. So I appreciate all my current patrons for that. If you want to do any type of one-time donations, there's some links down below for that as well. Or if you guys just want to use some of my fill links, there's a whole listing down there. There's coupons down there that you guys can use at various websites. Check all that out. And again, a little slice of what you buy there comes here to help me out at the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, happy printing.